So I'm Dr. Julian Onions and I'm now an astrophysicist. I'm a postdoctoral researcher uh, effectively, so that means I've done a PhD and I'm now sort of doing research on my own or more often helping out with teaching and other things like that. Uh, well, I've had two goes at this uh, because you know, originally I, uh, after doing A-levels, I went to do physics and it just seems such a cool thing to be a physicist. You, know, you get to understand the whole of the universe. Uh, but the second time I came to it, uh, so I, I'd gone off into industry and done other things, uh, computer programming mostly. So I, I got back into it through studying for sort of pleasure. So I did an open university degree in, in biology as it happened. Uh, but you could take a few extra credits on anything you liked. So I had to go at some of the astronomy and it just never occurred to me how much astronomy had moved in, um, sorry, moved on in the time I hadn't sort of been focused on it and how much people really now understood of how stuff works in space billions of miles away. You can work out how a sun works and you can work out how big stars work and, and what happens at the end of them. And all this stuff just sort of blew me away. And I thought, I just need to know more about this. I need to go and study this. I kind of wanted to be an astronaut because uh, everybody did at that time. Uh, but I, I guess I could see that was probably going to be fairly unrealistic, being in the UK and everything happening in the US. Although today it's, it's quite possible. Uh, so after A-levels, I, uh, I either wanted to be a, an airline pilot or a physicist. Well, the biggest advice, and it was actually not, not my own advice, it was somebody else who happened to say it, uh, is that you know, even though, so if you go to study physics, you don't have to like all the physics. Uh, that there's parts of physics, uh, in this case, that you will really, really like, and, and you will just, you know, you'll want to study it, and you'll want to understand it, and all that. And there's other bits that you really just have to struggle through what I did my PhD on, and really I guess what uh, got me into this field, is uh, simulating astronomical things, but really big, so galaxy-wide or universe-wide. So we, we take a box of uh, particles and we simulate how that all came together after the Big Bang and formed uh, galaxies and other things like that. And then you look into the results and see whether it equates with what we find studying the universe through telescopes and either it does or it doesn't and, it, and if it does then it proves our simulation it's right if it doesn't then sometimes that uh, it either means there's bugs in the code which is quite common or it means that we found something interesting that uh, we might need to go and look out into the universe uh, I do quite a lot of photography I do quite a lot of reading although not as much as we used to because I'm seeming to always be reading textbooks to catch up on things at the moment. Um, I've got two children and they use, <laughs> and, and, and various dogs, so they, they take up the rest of the time. <laughs> I'd say go for it. I mean, if, if, it's, if it's the, it's got to be the course you want and the environment you want. But if those two things work out, you know, Nottingham is a really good university.